Hello, back again for match day number four out in the Vanwana National League. This is the fifth year in England. They'll do match day by match day predictions for. And they get off to a very quick start. The first five games there, they are within a couple of week periods before they actually get a little bit more time to have a breath and get some more training sessions in before their next match days. But at the moment, it's a quick fire. And they just have to be ready to go and uh, probably swap in and swap out players there to accommodate and not overdo it in the match fitness as well too. So we'll have a look back at the results for match day number three and see how we got on with our predictions and how the leaderboard stands after at the moment and um, preview the Let's games there with the odds and score predictions and all that. So let's get to it. Stockport and Dover. Stockport came on top. 3 0 winners against Dover. John Rooney with two goals. Alex Weeds scoring one as well, too. Wetsum 1 0 winners against Yeovil with Kuan Thomas getting the only goal of the game. Bourne Wood and Halifax turned out to be a 0-0 draw. Chesterfield, they ended up destroying Woking, four goals to nil. Tom Denton with a very early goal in the fourth minute. And then they have three late goals in the final six minutes of the game. Luke Roson with two and Alex Kimwoom, yeah, scoring one as well too. So that really does not help with Woking's goal difference. At this very early stage of the season, of course. Salher Moores, 5-0 thumping win against Kingsland. See Bauer, Arch with 2, Osborne and Hull on the score sheet. Sutton, 1-0 winners against Weymouth. Will Wendon, getting the only goal of the game in the 81st minute. Eastie and Altrinum, sharing their points in a 1-1 draw. Yusuf, Cesar, in the 11th minute. Falchenham for Eastley was Cavani Miller scoring just on the stroke of half time. Notts County 4 2 winners against Barnet with Cullen Roberts, Kyle Walton, Enzo Bold Winge, and also Michael Doyle. For Barnet, JJ Hooper scoring at both of their team's goals there. Hartley 4 4 0 winners against Maidenhead, so we've got a few. Clubs that managed to get very convincing wins. Daniel Olsi had Dadamo own goal. O'Tosin, Johnson and Huelin scoring the goals for Hartlepool. Torque 2-1 winners against Bromley with Adam Wandle and Daniel White scoring Torque's goals. For Bromley, Brian Webster. Scoring the first goal, but ultimately ended in a defeat for them. And Dagenham and Weebridge, one of winners against Wildstone. Angelo Balenta scoring their team's goal. So it was just myself and the football simulator that had gone off for this particular match day. And I can say the football simulator did a lot better than what I did. But did then the likes of Chesterfield, Notts County, Sutton, Wetsam, and Dagenham and Weebridge to win their games. So 11.17, so well done to the simulator. For myself, I got 3.85, predicting Hartlepool and Dagen and Weebridge to win their matches. So the overall standings sees the football simulator on top with 34.9, myself in second place with 22.06, Carbon White in third with 5.25. But still very early days, so feel free to get involved and make some predictions and you get points based on the odds of these games that I provide so if you go for the big underdog teams then you could quickly catch up so let's get to it Wetsum are taking on Maidenhead Wetsum with four wins one victory for Maidenhead and one draw all these games are since 2005 because they use the Fussball wet Point websites but for the most part these clubs don't play each other too many times in their recent history. 
So Wet Sam, $1.65, 3 dollars for the draw and four eighty for Maidenhead. I'm going to go with Wet Sam to win 3 0. Football Summers that sees a 2 2 draw. Ultranum taking on Saho Moors. 3 1 for Ultranum, 2 1 for Saho Moors, and a draw. Ultranum winning the past three games. 3 60 for Ultranum, 3 50 for the draw, and a dollar 83 for Saho. I'm going to go with a 1 1 draw. Football Summers that sees a 1 0 win for Ultranum. Sutton United taking on Notts County. Two wins for Notts County and two draws. Last year's matches were both 1-1 draws. Before that, 2011 with a 2-0 win and 2008 with a 1-0 win. Sutton, 263 here. 330 for the draw, 240 for Notts County. Going to go for Notts County. I did believe in them to end up winning this whole division. So I've got to back them to win a number of their games this season. And I'm going to go with them to get a 3-1 victory. Football Summers has sees a 1-1 draw for this match here. Kingsland and Bournemouth Wood. They haven't played each other, at least in recent history. Kingsland, 3 bucks, 3.40 for the draw. And 2.10 for Bournemouth Wood. Going to go for Bournemouth Wood. More of a stable National League side. Going to go for them to get a 2-1 win. Football Summers they sees a 1-1 draw. Barnett against Weymouth. Just the one result here, and that was for Barnett winning a 2-1 victory in the FA Trophy the last season. Barnett, they are the favourites here. $1.72, 360 for the draw, $4 for Weymouth. Going to go for Barnett to come through and win two goals to one. Football Summers they sees a 1-0 win for Barnett. Wildstone and Stockport. Haven't played each other, at least in recent history as well too. 3.30 for Wildstone, 3.40 for the draw, and $2 for Stockport. Both me and the football simulator sees a 2-0 win for Stockport County for this particular match here. Halifax taking on Yeovil. 2 out of 2 wins for Yeovil, and both 2-0 wins last season. So, 2-2-2-2-2. Two, 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 two. Uh, we have 270 for Halifax, 330 for the draw, 237 for Yeovil. I'm going to go for a draw for this match though, and it's going to be a 1 1 draw. Football Summers is going to go for Yeovil to come away 3 0 winners. Next up, we have Torquay Torquay taking on Chesterfield. 6 1s for Chesterfield, 3 1s for Torquay, and 2 draws. Chesterfield winning their past 4 matches. $2 for Torquay, $3.30 for the draw, and $3.30 for Chesterfield. Going to go for Chesterfield to get another victory, and 3.3 points won't be too shabby indeed for this game here. I'm going to go for Chesterfield, 1-0 winners. Football Summer sees a 1-0 win for Torquay. Dover, they take on Aldershot at 6 wins each, and a draw. Past four games, 2 wins each. Odds for this match, 2.20 for Dover. 340 for the draw and 288 for older shots. Gonna go for Dover Athletic to win this match 2 0. Football Summit is a 1 0 win for older shots. Next up, we have Hartlepool taking on Bromley. Four wins for Bromley, one victory for Hartlepool. Bromley, they did manage to win the past three head to head matches against each other. Hartlepool at home, odds for them are $1.80. 360 for the draw, 375 for Bromley. Gonna go for the upsets, but the more informed team, head head wise anyway. And so gonna go for Bromley, 3 1 winners. Football Summer has sees a 3 2 win for Bromley as well, too. And last up, we have Woking taking on Dagon and Weedwich. Two victories each and four draws. Woking, two wins and two draws in the past four games. 3 30 for Woking. 3.30 for the draw, and $2 for Dagenham and Weedbridge. Going to go for a 2-2 draw, and the football senator sees a 3-2 win for Woking. So those are my thoughts. Football Summers predictions, my predictions for the upcoming match day number four, other than the Van Moen National League competition. So feel free to get involved for your predictions down below, and see how the leaderboard shapes up after the next a lot of games as they quickly play 
these matches as well as the weekend matches and then they get to have a nice week break. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, hit the like button, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe as well too, it would be greatly appreciated, cheers.